Hello and welcome, thank you for tuning in. So in today's video, I am going to be going through sister sizes for larger cup size ladies. So before I get started, I have a favour to ask. If you don't mind, could you please like and subscribe to the channel? It really helps it grow and it helps share this information with other people that would be interested in this. If you've already done it, I want to say a massive thank you to you. I appreciate you. Back to the video. So I did a video previously on sister sizing and it kind of covered the smaller cup sizes and I got requests to go through the larger cup sizes. Let's get into it. So what is sister sizing? Sister sizing is where you can wear sizes in and around your actual bra size. So for instance, you've been measured at a bra store and you are a 38J. Or M U S J U K. So you first need to know what size you are and which country's measurements you're using. I'm using just the UK and the US because they're the most common. So you've worked out you're a 38 J UK, 38 M US. Now there's a bra, Elomi have just released the Elomi Charlie. It's a fantastic bra, it's this mold space bra. There's one slight problem with it and that it stops at a double H. So this bra is only available in a, a double H. And if you're wearing a 38J, the 38 double H is highly unlikely to fit you because you're going down a cup size. So what can you do in this instance? Well, you can try the sister size on. So the sister size, I always recommend going up in the band first and I'll explain why. I always think that's a better way to start and see how that feels than to come down in the band. So, you've decided you want to try this Charlie because you've heard rave reviews about it, but they don't make it in your size. So what you can do is you can go to the sister size. So you would go up in your band, so you'd go from a 38 to a 40. You would come down in your cup size to a double H UK or an L. Now the reason that you come down in your cup size is that the cups are not all made the same. So if you are a 30 double H and you are a 38 double H, that double H of the 38 will be a bigger diameter, a bigger sized cup than the 30 double H. And this is where people get themselves a little confused. Everybody thinks that the letter is just gonna be the same size for each band size, and it's not. The diameter changes by an inch every time the band gets bigger. So you need to keep that in mind. So as your band increases, you need to come down in the cup size. So you've got the Charlie now, so you're like, oh, I can try a 40 double H because that's my sister size and I can see if that works. This is also a great method if, for instance, you are wearing a 38J in one brand and then you go off and you try a different brand and in that different brand, you're finding that the band is way too tight but the cups are fitting you can try your sister size and with your sister size there are three different there are three different sizes that you can choose that are all related to each other so i've shown you the example of this is your true size this is your sister size but you can also go the opposite way so you might have tried the 38j on and it's just way too big in the band so you can actually go down in your band size. So you take yourself down to the 36, but here you have to go up in your cup size. Because remember what I said before? Each cup size, a diameter, 
changes by an inch. So with you going down in your band size, your cup size is also going to be smaller by an inch. So we need to take you to the double J. So we take you to a double J or N U S. So I'm hoping this is kind of making sense so that you know how sister sizing works. So these three sizes in the bra world all equate to the same fit. And when they say the same fit, it means the same fit for the cup size. What I tend to find with the band size is sometimes it can work, sometimes it just doesn't. But you have to try it to find out. This is, so this is where sister sizing really can help you out. It can help you out with brand. It's also great if you are not sure of how a brand's gonna fit you and you're kind of wondering what size you should go for if you're buying and you're not in the store and you can't try them on. I would always say, go in and around what your actual size measures and then try the different ones either side because it will give you a true guide of what's working and what's not. So I hope that made some kind of sense to you. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Until next time, thank you and goodbye.